Hello, this is Naura Shifa, and this is the review from Last AgriTalk about vertical farming as the answer to sustainable agriculture. High numbers on urbanization flow cause agriculture sector, which the majority is still only in the countryside, become more or less behind and abandoned. It will get worse remembering the fact that in Indonesia, according to Baran Pusat statistic, 80% of Indonesian farmers now are they who are already above their 60, which means that we lack generation to continue the field work while the demand of food keeps increasing day by day. To take it further into land usage, land is important for agriculture as said, but so is for our places to live, yet we won't have adequate of it for both in the future if we don't use it wisely in the present time. Vertical farm present as one of the solutions over and defined as any farms which grow plant in a vertically stacked controlled environment with the goal of maximizing the effectiveness of location square footage. The discussion done focused on the upside and downside part of using VF as a new agriculture method to cultivate food source. Applying vertical farming system in cultivating food source may eliminate the herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides issue because all controlled conditions inside the cultivating room makes harmful pests will no longer exist, yet the beneficial ones like soil worms still can be added. Eliminates dangerous condemnation of chemical element and pollutants that were contained by the soil and were caused by pestle usage, and also lessen the water usage up to 95% with extra amount because some of it will be reused. Talking about food av availability, vertical farm also considered as beneficial because it increases production efficiency by a multiplier of 6 to 4 to 6 and also uses a way more efficient sunlight system that increased photosynthesis performance up to 291% but a fully conserved food security which concept is to make food available for all we need extra calculation and consideration remembering the fact that the yield might cost more so that it can only be consumed by the rich but to take it furthermore its flexible location also allows vertical farm to cut transportation and storage costs that might reduce the production cost and methane digesters even can help convert organic waste to energy that can help power the building so the cost might again be lessened. But the VF system, which only can shelter crops that contain chlorophyll, do not have too high plant height and have quite many harvest peers in a year makes main food ingredients like corn and wheat have more obstacles to adapt this system because of their quite low economic value and their pretty long cultivation periods. This makes traditional agriculture system can be eliminated for good. So, considering all the proposed arguments, the discussion has come to a conclusion that the VF is a really promising farming way to solve many agricultural problems from lack of landfill, increasing the yields, the ecosystem safety regarding the site's usage, minimizing water usage and also production, transportation and storage costs for yield to be finally consumed, but replacing is never the answer. Instead, we can collaborate the traditional method with vertical farming, which means that conventional farming is now currently not necessary to be fully erased or replaced, and vertical farm can be present to maximize potential yield helpable as much as it can to contribute in the future world's food for all. Because again, we'd have loved, but replacing is not the answer.